Two of the most popular events in Rodeo will take center stage this weekend in Sioux Falls. Kellen's Travis Fossing tells us how Bulls and Bronx is built for the entire family. The Bulls are starting to stir at the WH Lion Fairgrounds in advance of the sixth annual Bulls and Bronx. We got contestants from about five state area show up here to uh, ride bulls and uh, ride horses. The Sioux Empire Fair Association organizes the event, and Vice Chairman Dan Paring says folks fill the stands to see the bulls. 3,000 pound animal and a 100 pound guy trying to conquer him. And the bulls have been on hiatus for a few months. They'll be trying to kick the lights out of the rafters for sure. The first set that the guys are gonna get on in the horse events, they're gonna be a little wilder and crazy, don't have a set pattern. T.J. Corco is a stock contractor for Bulls and Bronx and has brought in dozens of up-and-coming horses from Pier for saddle bronc riding. We bring that set of horses in, that's my next generation coming up. And then for the short round, we've got old NFR Bronx that have been to the national finals, the bright lights in Las Vegas. The two-day Bulls and Bronx includes the Raisin Rank Mini Bulls event on Saturday. There'll be bulls that are about three foot tall and kids that are probably two foot tall trying to ride them. Another highlight of the event is the kids boot scramble. The kids will take one shoe off, put it in a pile, then they'll go to the other end of the arena and they'll run down, put a boot on, the first person back gets a pair of boots. Getting the next generation of Bulls and Bronx participants started off on the right foot. In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. That boot scramble just looks like utter chaos right there. Bulls and Bronx starts tonight at 7.30 inside the Expo building. The event continues tomorrow with mini bulls at 5.30 p.m., followed by bull riding and saddle Bronx at 7.30.